the Wi-Fi, the built-in Wi-Fi on the camera where you can use it with an app on your phone. Really? Yeah, it works for stills. Well, that sucks. Yeah. What's going on, ladies and gents? Dal, we're here for T3G along with Harris. And we just went and saw Captain America Civil War. It is 2.48 a.m. It sure is. On uh, Friday morning, technically, or Thursday night, however you yep. want to look at it. Yep. What'd you think? I thought it was a great movie. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, honestly, it's a, it's a no-spoilers review, so I don't want to go too much into detail, but... Uh, you know, acting is great on the movie. Uh, the action is phenomenal. I really couldn't say otherwise, because if I did, that would be a lie. Um, honestly, the the biggest thing that kind of took me, I, 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 I was crazy excited, crazy excited for the movie, um, but it fell a little short for me. It... Uh, you know, everybody, here's the thing, there was, we've been on an online kind of like debate on who's better character-wise, and everybody was raving how T'Challa's a badass, and, you know, I saw T'Challa being pretty badass, but not as badass as everybody was saying that T'Challa was a badass, <laughs> so... I don't know if this not is a quite T'Challa. Not quite at that level. Not yeah, quite he at wasn't that level. really at that level uh, of badassery. And, I think he was uh, still. I think he was still pretty badass. He was still pretty badass, just not at the badassery that uh, you know everybody was like, "You don't get it, man. You don't get it. BP. He's 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 badass." Uh, not to that. Not, not, he, didn't, he didn't punch anyone into the ground to death. Yeah, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> um, and this is a Marvel movie, so you know uh, we're gonna go with that. <laughs> That, that, that's by the way that's a, just a tangent on a whole different subject um, really the biggest thing for me was um, Tony Stark uh, Tony Stark in this movie I believe is what took me out of the movie um, if it was a Tony Stark that I just met in this movie I can see why the decisions he made and who he is as a person and why he kept doing what he doing throughout the movie was perfectly fine Tony Stark that I've known since Iron Man nothing makes sense on Tony Stark in this point not even maybe a smidget of it but that's nowhere near to what I just saw on screen for Tony Stark so for me that's I think what ultimately took me out of the movie uh, but otherwise I mean it's still a great movie I mean acting is phenomenal nobody did any less or it Nobody did any less than they've already brought to the table. If not, they've done more. Uh, Bucky was shown really well in this movie. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I think Sebastian Stan did a fantastic job. Um, uh, Hawkeye was all right. Um, I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to give too much away. I, I enjoyed Hawkeye. Um, I will say, like once again, it goes back. There was a lot of characters, so he didn't get too much of a story. Uh, but I mean, his story has been told, so there's yeah. really nothing to tell. We, on we know what's going on on right. his end. Um, loved Spider Man. Uh, brilliant. I, I brilliant. I can't even explain the Just the love brilliant. I have for Spider Man. But then again, I loved Andrew Garfield's Spider Man, and yeah. the, essentially, it's the same Spider Man. Well, this Amazing Spider-Man Two Spider-Man is this same Spider-Man. There's it's, banter. It's a lot of talking, a lot of goofiness, a lot of comedy. Uh, and, and that's what I always want out of Spider-Man. Uh, I like the kid's age, especially since now we know what you know wh where he's going to be set at uh, age-wise in his movie. Um, I love how they did it. I love the. Uh, it looks like the kid's going to do a great job because he did a great job in this movie. Um, we got a, quite a bit of Spider-Man. Uh, I wouldn't say any, wise, yeah. I wouldn't say anything more than I expected. Like some people were like, "Oh, you got even more than you expected." No, I. This is about what I expected. So yeah. I don't know what people were talking about. Um, yeah, I mean, overall, I really, I mean, go see it. I wouldn't say it's up to par where critics are giving it. It's crazy. It's like the complete opposite. Critics bash Batman v Superman, but they're going ham on. Uh, this movie, and I don't know if they deserve to go that I, ham. I would say, I would agree. I, like, I think, they're going I think, I think, really I think, ham. It's almost like somebody paid them to go this ham. I think like, it's a it great movie, a great without movie. a doubt. But the, the 
the ratings that it's getting, I don't know about all that. Like, I think it was a great movie. I think the acting was superb. I think yeah, absolutely. The only like thing, said, the only thing that took me out of the movie was some of the graphic shots. Yeah, there was, really, oh, that's another thing. I really some of the like CG was not good. The, I, I was gonna say I I I, I, I went and saw I completely even. Uh, I went and saw Jungle Book then. last week with uh, with Erica, and uh, we talked about. Good movie. I never have to see it again. I would never go out of my way to see it again. Okay. Um, it really doesn't. I f- I feel doesn't deserve the like rave reviews. Sure. But I thought the graphics, the CG was outstanding. There was one singular scene where I felt it wasn't perfect. Right. Whereas in this movie, there was quite a man, few. There were quite Iron a Man few moments where uh, Iron, Iron Man, Man several scenes. Several Iron Man. scenes. Because uh, here's the thing: since shit, the first even, movie, even Black he wears Panther. less and less on him. Yeah, even Black Panther. In a few, he, in a few he was a little shots, too CG. you can see that he's CG. It was, it was, it was not. It was definitely not as good as I wanted no, it to be. Um, not, not on the C U R episode. Yeah, I, I can't believe C, that slipped my mind because that the was CG's the only thing that took me out of it. Yeah, um, I, I wholeheartedly disagree on the the, the Tony Stark thing. So you we'll think everything it. makes sense for Tony Stark? Everything. I think. I think him the, being on the government side, everything the, from the, Iron Man. I think the reason he's throughout. on the gov- I think the reason he's on the government side is because he's having a difficult time uh, adjusting to the way things are. The fact that he's caused a lot of problems, okay. he doesn't know. I think I, th- I think this was his reaction, okay. the same way he did what he did at the beginning of Iron Man, where he sure. like shut down all the weapons manufacturing right. because he saw his his company doing bad things. Right. Now that he's shown, he like he, he you know. Right at the beginning, he's shown the, the literal face of a bad decision that he made. Right. And he, the only way he knows how to deal with situations right. like that is just whole, like complete opposite of what he was doing before. Okay. So I feel like that it, it fits in with that. Um, that's why I think he's on the, the government side. But I think that's also why down the line in the movie things change otherwise and the other decisions are made. Um, but we'll go into that in the spoiler review. Yeah, we'll go into the spoiler review. Um, I think the story was outstanding. I think I was actually wondering how they well, were going to bring me, in Zemo because they showed almost no Zemo in the trailers, right. which I'm actually really happy about because that's the story that really brought me forward. And the way Zemo's integrated, the way Zemo's done, I think it's perfect. I don't think you could have... even If you had done Zemo closer to the comics, I don't think it would have been any better. In fact, it might have been worse. Um, I think the story overall is good. I think the we'll call it the recruitment drive, um, was kind of an interesting little segue. It, it was just kind of comedy for the sake kinda, of comedy. I, I Honestly, I kind of wish it wasn't even there. I, I said the same thing. I'm like, if, if he had just said underoos, yeah. I would have been perfectly happy with yeah. him showing up then. Having that little moment ahead... I don't, I don't think yeah. I cared for it. I yeah, don't think I cared I, for I, it. I, I, I guess if he had just said I know someone, yeah. and then he just shows up, that would I think would have been a little more potent. Uh, like I, I guess it's to build the story upon because sure. this character is not coming to this universe. But I didn't care. Um, what I did care about though was Marissa Tomei is not me. Just although people forget that she's fifty, so I don't care. The woman is gorgeous. Yeah, she's the woman is gorgeous. She's an excellent, ac- excellent actress. Yeah, she could be any role. She could be Iron Man. I don't care. Um, <laughs> I think it was great. I think you should go watch it. I think you should definitely go, definitely and go watch give it. it give it that. Give it that opening weekend money, please. Yeah. Um, absolutely. Erica on the way back I was talking about how she's kind of done with, uh, not so much done with superheroes, but just it's it's starting to wear on her. And right, I'm right. like, you are you are the definition of like Hollywood's fears right now. Yeah, they're putting all their ducks into that. All their eggs into that superhero yeah, yeah, basket. Yeah, yeah, and I'm like, you are the definition of their deepest fears. Well, here's the thing. Like, to me, like I said, Winter Soldier, what to me, was a better movie. But uh, I think the pacing of Winter Soldier was better. I think that Winter Soldier... I don't necessarily think the movie overall was better, but I think I the think it definitely way was. it was done was better. I, I think, I think this was, was way, way more of a bigger movie. Like, it was more of a, a spectacle. Whereas, whereas Winter Soldier was a very singular, direct story. Yeah. I think if you were to take out all the Avengers out of this and make it just the rest of that, I right. think, which I think, aside from the actual core plot of the story, you, I think, could have done that. But they did it in a certain way, and I think it still worked really well. Yeah. Uh, but I think if you were to take, if you were, I think just because you had all of the Avengers in it, 
except for Thor and Hulk. Like, that was it. it was the only two people you didn't have. Everybody else was in it, yeah. including new Avengers that hadn't been in Avengers before. Right. So it was like... Well, they're obviously building this, those Yeah, this enormous well. cast, and just really a lot of things happened that I think the, the direction, the, the, the kind of, the concise point right. that Winter Soldier made, where it was like it started off as this intrigue spy thriller right. and ended as an intrigue spy thriller. This had like elements, like you said before, it had some elements of like spy stuff and had some elements of like big movie blockbuster with the huge fights. Yes. But at the same time, like it all was kind of put together. Right. It wasn't all one scene. Like yeah. Winter Soldier was beginning to end a spy thriller. Yeah. And I think that's what makes it a better movie. I think the overall pacing is I think, I, yeah, I think the storytelling in Winter Soldier is better. Yeah, period. I think but beginning to end, it's yeah. one single message, whereas yeah. this, you throw in, I think you throw in more comedy than you would have in a Captain America movie, in the last Captain America movie. Uh, was. It's not, it, it's, I think some of the comedy was at the wrong spots. Yeah. I, I mean, think there, there was definitely there was, some yeah. comedy in the wrong spot. And don't get me wrong, guys, like, I'm not bashing on the movie. I think it's a great movie, period. Like, there's no... You can't argue against yeah. that. It is a great movie, and it. I'm really just uh, the biggest. The biggest thing, like everything else, uh, I'm really nitpicking at. But the the two biggest things for me was Iron Man and uh, uh, the CG. That was the two the biggest C- things. The for CG me. really. The C- I was just really disappointed. It hit me. It hit me just kind of like blindsided. Like I'm wondering because... if like is it is, was it like that because like a lot of the budget's going to Doctor Strange. Like I don't even think it was that. I think it was the fact that they had to add in Spider Man. They were almost done filming, the com- almost completely done filming. Yeah, but some of well, those they... shots, I just feel like, like when Tony doesn't, or when when uh, Tony Iron Man, whatever, when he doesn't have his helmet on, but he has the suit on, like in a couple was, of the shots, it, it was, was just, just really bad. obvious that they had just pasted yeah. this suit on him. And it's funny, like you see him without the suits, and then the background for the airport on some of the shots was definitely it, bad. It was, it was not, and, and I wouldn't say go so far as to say bad. But it was definitely not up to par. Like it was, it was not, not up, up to. to par. It was nowhere near as good as uh, Age of Ultron. No, 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 no. So it, it was a bit of a disappointment in, in, in that, like, you had this great movie that had amazing special effects, and now you're moving into a movie that is still great, but the special effects just don't match. Yeah. And I honestly think a lot of that was because they wanted to make Spider-Man really, really good. They were like, "All right, this seems like this Iron Man thing is good enough." Let's go back to Spider Man. Right. Let's put more people on Spider Man because Spider Man was beautiful. Spider Man was badass. I can't, I can't deny it. Spider Man. There was, was I, there I was, was not a single scene of Spider Man where I was like, "That's super CG." Like there, there was, was there were shots where I was like, "They took you out and put you back in." I was gonna say because like was, there was, was stuff that was in the trailers where Spider Man was in that shot. Yeah, uh, I mean there was definitely uh, there was one or two shots where like he's there and I feel like it's a CG him. Is it, is, it, is it the running? The running? It's not even the running. It was more. Like, it was more like, like a. Sta- was it was almost like a stationary shot. I'm trying to remember exactly. It was when he first pops up, and he's chilling there and talking. Uh, he's not even really moving, and it, you can tell. Like I'm like that. That looks almost CG, and I'm like, did they really have to do CG for that shot? I'm like, he's just yeah. chilling there talking. So I mean. It's it's for a Marvel movie. The C the, some of the CG is disappointing. It's really not yeah. up to par, and I, I don't but know otherwise. why that is. Uh, and yeah, for me, it really is just kind of Tony Stark's story. Um, I don't know, uh, just everything else. Yeah, I'll I'll accept what you said, where you know he is kind of one of those people that like. Uh, he doesn't deal with anything like moderately. Right, right. He like, doesn't, whatever, he doesn't he's like, I did this wrong. I'm gonna do it completely but, the opposite way right. this time. But it, <laughs> once again, uh, certain things just still don't. It, it, that being said, that there's still certain things that don't line up to me in his story, and that's ultimately what took me. I thought they played. I thought they played Cap. I thought the way they wrote and directed Cap was a little, a little too hardline. I think he was a little too good. You know what I'm saying? Like, See, he, he, he was like know. Captain America from the comics. And that's not usually a bad thing, but when you're really showing a lot of these people that are more grounded in reality, right. and then you show a Captain America that is just like, nope, what's good is good and what's bad is bad, black and white. I'm like, eh, that's not how life works. Right. And I feel like in, in Winter Soldier, you saw more of a, 
a wider. Uh, I would say you definitely get a little bit of a uh, like, especially. Know, maybe maybe I'm just focusing on, on the especially other stuff in the, right now. Yeah, I was gonna say because especially in one of the scenes, like you you see like he finally gets what's the right thing to do for him. Like right. there is a scene where because you can tell that it's not black and white for him because he's still contemplating what the right decision is. Right. So it's like uh, wow. It, it, uh, I, I don't I don't I don't know. To me I was absolutely fine with everybody else. Just for some reason the whole Tony thing just really took me out of the thing. Um but otherwise I mean it's a great movie. I think like, it's a really, great movie. Honestly, you, you, definitely you, worth the watch. Yeah. I you're still gonna be I would you're not still gonna waste be the money on IMAX three D. If you can go to IMAX but not I, IMAX three D yeah, 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 do that. Don't, don't, don't do three D. Three D. I don't know why. Please stop do 3D. spending money on three D because so we can I just really want it to go it. away. I want Listen, it to go away. we already have 3D. You know how? Because they're really humans. Yeah. And so they are 3D. <laughs> they're not 2D. <laughs> they are essentially 3D. We just it's not popping in your face. Right. Uh, which is a whole nother level of 3D. So I I don't I, like for this movie I don't even two thumbs up. Yeah, two thumbs. Three up. guys two recommend up. this movie. Yeah, yeah, I mean you know. Imagine the third. I'm gonna put him right here. Listen, this we've had like, guests and all that. So imagine head. whichever one third you want. Um. um yeah, go see the movie. Yeah, I'd say go see him. Absolutely. 100%. We'll do a, we'll do a spoiler review like after the weekend. Yeah, I would say but, either Monday or Tuesday we'll have yeah. a spoiler review. But uh, definitely go see it. Appreciate you guys for watching. As always, Dalibor. Harris. See you guys next time.